perform the texts, so we needed to know where the pauses were. So OSC doesn't say anything about the messages that you want to use for your purposes. It just says where the punctuation is, so that it's easy for computers to grab, to, to create the data, send it over a network, and get it out the other end. We, we don't want to say, with OSC, we don't want to say what you're doing. MIDI wanted to tell you what to do, the MIDI manufacturers. They wanted to tell you how to make music, and it had to be, their protocol was like keyboards. I wanted to do guitar. So we made OSC the punctuation, not the content. So that's the quick summary. So it just tells you to name a value and how to separate the name from the value. And then you need a lot of names and values, how to organize them into groups that we call bundles. So that's the quick summary. It's, a, it's actually not syntax, it's not semantics or meaning, it's just lexical. It's just how to punctuate so computers can get information from one part to the other. And that's why it succeeded, because as soon as we wrote the spec and shared it, there's nothing, there's nothing else. We have no agency. It's all up to you what to do with it. Uh, and a similar thing happened when people started inventing commas and full stops and semicolons. Nobody said, nobody remembers who invented the comma, but as soon as you got it, you knew why you needed one, right? My comma, my slash, same song. Yes. <laughs> And there, was there any conflict as you, as you were designing it, or it was very clear for the group what, okay, how you do it? Uh, yes. I made one stupid decision about it, well, a really stupid one, and thank God the first two users of OSC kept telling me how stupid it was, and instead of arguing, I yielded, and thank God. So that's James McCartney and Matt Wright. So I, I thought you didn't need to put the type of the information in, the, 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 whether it's a floating point number or an integer. Okay. I thought each end could just agree. You write the code at one end, you write the code at the other. But uh, James McCartney wrote Super Collider, right, that it's the beginnings of Super Collider, and he knew why he needed the type. And as a first user, the first user wins whatever they want. You give it to them, right? So, and Matt Wright had another way of arguing against me is he just coded what James McCartney wanted. So, so and it's all cordial. There was absolutely no, like, this was not a power struggle. This was how to solve a problem. So. But anyway, what would you have uh, done differently if you would do OSC today? Um... Don't worry about um, oh, there's only one thing. I wouldn't have called it open sound control. I would have called it open systems control. Because it's used to control Disneyland rides and, and video. It's not, it's, I mean, a lot of us here use it for sound but, or music, but it's, it can be used for all kinds of weird things. I've, I have a recipe I wrote in OSC, which I gave, I printed out the OSC recipe. messages, a recipe for uh, penne con fungi, maybe I'll make it tomorrow. <laughs> and um, uh, I gave the idea is to give the recipe in OSC to someone who knows how to program OSC and they cook it. Then I know I got the yep. encoding right. And we did that as a midterm exercise in the class. <laughs> and it's delicious, incidentally. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. That was my learning question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I go to the next one. If and this one says, if sensors can extend the human 